Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a self-bound flannel baby blanket. I love this project because it has a cute border with mitered corners that go around the edge, but it's actually just made from two squares of fabric. It's so cool how it magically forms a border. Let me show you how to make it. To start, you'll need two coordinating pieces of flannel. One piece is one and a third yards, and the other piece is just one yard. The large piece will be the backing and border, and the smaller piece will be the center of the blanket. I got both of these fabric fabrics at Joanne. Square off one edge of the larger piece of fabric, then cut the length so that it forms a perfect square. This is determined by your fabric width. I cut mine at about 43 inches. Repeat for the smaller fabric, but this time make a 36 inch square. Try your best to make a perfectly square square. Next, mark the center of each side of the largest square on the front side of the fabric and mark the center of each side of the smallest square on the back side of the fabric. Lay the two pieces together with right sides together. Line up those center marks along each side and pin them in place. This seems weird, but just trust the process. The back piece will get all bunchy, but it's going to work out. Line up the edges of the fabric and sew them together as far as the smaller fabric overlaps. Just ignore the bunchy corners and keep going, smoothing the seams together from that center pin. Make sure to leave a hole for turning in one of the seams, and you want the hole to be in the center of one of the sides, not at the corner. Once all four sides are sewn together, take the blanket back to your cutting mat. Fold the edges into a triangle and smooth everything out. Now we need to mark a 45 degree angle from the innermost corner to the edge, and there are two different ways you can do this. Draw a 90 degree angle lining up with that corner, fold the corner down, then draw a line there where the fold line is, and that's a 45 degree angle. Or, if you have a quilting ruler, a lot of times they have a 45 degree mark on it. Mine has this, so I'm going to line that up with the lines on my cutting mat, slide it up until it touches the innermost corner of the fabric, then draw the line. So two different ways to get to the same thing, you want a 45 degree angled line. Stitch right along that line. Then cut off the extra fabric, leaving a seam allowance. Now comes the magic part! Find the hole and flip the blanket right side out. Push out each corner with your finger, then align everything until it's smooth and lays flat, and iron everything down. Do not skip the ironing, you have to do it. Even if you hate ironing, you have to for this project. One last step, once everything is really smooth, sew around the entire blanket with a zigzag stitch, centering it right over that seam between the two fabrics. This keeps the blanket in place and it closes the hole you use to turn the blanket. Okay, and here's the finished blanket. Isn't that so cool? I just love that little border of the backing fabric peeking around to the front. It makes the whole project seem so fancy, but it's just two squares. Be sure to visit my blog, thecraftpatchblog.com, for more cute and fun project ideas. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!